More than one month into the year, school boards in Ontario say they're facing increased staffing issues brought on by this latest wave of the pandemic and finding fill-ins for teachers who are sick or isolating has been challenging. The TDSB and other school boards right across the province have been experiencing issues with occasional teachers picking up uh, the available jobs. The Toronto District School Board says it's been an ongoing challenge, one exacerbated by Omicron. Prior to the spread of the variant, the board says they had a 92% fill rate for elementary schools and 88% for secondary schools in November. Data provided from the board shows those numbers have dropped. Last week, sitting at 67 and 85%, going from just hundreds of jobs unfilled to more than 3,000. If a classroom teacher is not available uh, to come in that day, uh, we are looking at moving other staff from within the school to cover off that class uh, and in some cases uh, redeploying central teachers and administrators to help support schools. Toronto's Catholic School Board says it has not seen a significant difference in school staff absences but filling these positions has been challenging. Teachers unions say staffing issues are getting worse. It's absolutely an issue uh, province-wide. Adding that there are fewer occasional or supply teachers. Some just don't feel safe. Among the reasons why, larger class sizes, vaccination rates, and no paid sick days. So really looking at it and saying, is it worth putting my family at risk, putting my health at risk? In rare cases, some boards use emergency replacements, non-teachers who are interviewed, vetted, and have a police reference. The immediate concern is boards who are looking to hire unqualified people to fill in those jobs. So people with a high school diploma and a police record check, and then that's it. The concern, of course, is the delivery of curriculum. Education Minister Stephen Lecce says the province expected, quote, high rates of absenteeism, saying their government put a plan in motion to keep schools open and stable, including increasing the talent pool who can fill in. We've doubled the number of days retired educators can work. Over 10,000 retirees last year stepped up. We're grateful to them. Unions are asking for long-term plans and solutions that would make occasional teachers feel safe enough to come back. That means putting confidence back into the system uh, so people feel that they can take on these roles and support the system as they've done in the past. And really it's because they don't feel it's safe. And that's the bottom line. Toronto's Catholic Board also telling City News that no classes or schools have been closed due to the staffing shortage. In Toronto, I'm Faisa Amin for City News.